It's time to face the truth. For the time being, FSU is a basketball school. Hamilton is pushing out two potential lottery picks in the same year the football team failed to produce a single first-round pick. And I think it's about time we pay the boys on the hard court a bit more attention. Let's start things off by diving into the game of none other than Devin Vassell, a stringing 19-year-old sophomore that's projected to go somewhere in the early to middle parts of the first round of the 2020 NBA Draft. The first thing that stands out about Vassell is his length. He stands at six foot seven with a wingsman that looks and acts much longer than the six foot ten it's often estimated to be. This allows him to be a dominant perimeter defender. Look how this length disrupts this entry pass, and then he turns and is able to strip the ball out of John Mooney's hands at its highest point. His length helps him on the interior too. Here he has a little trouble keeping up with his quicker guard, but he's able to make up for it with his go-go gadget arms. This length is compounded by his awareness. This play is probably my favorite example of this, but it helps to have a bit of background first. FSU switches everything on defense. That means whenever there's a screen, the players switch assignments. While it does cover screens well, this defense isn't infallible. Here Louisville took advantage of the switching by getting FSU's smallest defender on their center for an easy look at a post-up. However, Vassell sees this happening and cuts the pass off from the baseline, and then makes a great downcourt pass for a couple of easy points in transition. Here's another great example. FSU places full court pressure on Notre Dame's point guard, who is able to beat it and get some momentum towards the hoop. Vassell's man is here but he sees Patrick Williams leave his man under the basket and rotate to help on the drive. Vassell acts quickly in rotation and gets a clean steal off of this little pocket pass. This awareness translates to the offensive end as well. This is just a little thing, but he sees this defender helping early on this pick and roll, and he cuts the basket behind his man's back. His awareness is all fine and well, but what really gets the NBA scouts interested is his ability to shoot. His shot is a little unconventional looking, but it's consistent. He shot it at a remarkable 42% clip last season. And more importantly, it's really hard to defend. Look at this shot with time expiring in the ACC tournament as a freshman. His defender here is doing anything but social distancing and is glued to Fissell as he goes up with his shot. But it doesn't make much of a difference. His high release point means that he has almost a foot of clearance over this defender's fingers. The three-point shot isn't the only shot he has mastered. He loves these little pull-up mid-range floaters, and they've proved to be effective if he can't get to the rim. While passing isn't necessarily his strongest suit, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, there is some potential there. His awareness and length allow him to occasionally make some great passes like this one. On the pick and roll, he notices this big man stays up in a soft hedge, and punishes him by making an entry pass clear over everyone's head. So if you stop watching here, you might be under the impression that Devin Vassell is on the short list for future All-Stars. But he definitely has a lot of work to do if he ever wants to be considered in that category. The first comes when he has the ball in his hands. Even at the college level, he was never a dangerous ball handler. Whenever he drives into a congested area, there is some concern for the security of his handle. This lack of a handle often causes him to pick up his dribble early. This means he's bad at picking up fouls and generating offense off the dribble, and it can leave him to have to make quick decisions. He's generally pretty cautious with this and will just pass out of trouble or just pull up into a congested mid-range jumper, but occasionally he makes a bad decision like this one. While he is an extremely solid defensive prospect, he falls short in his versatility at the next level. As of now, he can only realistically guard two positions effectively at the next level. He would have trouble with many point guards due to slow lateral speed. Note how this point guard is able to get right past him on his closeout, but initially he would also struggle to guard the 4 and 5. This is purely because of size. As of now, he sits just shy of 200 pounds. This is way too light. He needs to be closer to 240. Even at the college level, he got pushed around a fair bit. In this clip, it's like Mooney is posting up against a sheet of paper. At the end of the day, no prospect is perfect. However, Devin has shown that he's a great team player 
who has grown more than almost any other prospect I've ever seen. He was just a three-star out of high school a mere two years ago and has been impressing people ever since. His upsides are just too hard to ignore. He is a prototypical 3 and D player who has enough polish on his game to be a contributor right out of college. If he can manage to hold another 40 pounds on his frame, he could potentially be one of the premier wing defenders in the league. As of now, his ceiling is a starter and contributor on a competitive team, but where he really shines is his floor. In my opinion, he could be a role player off the bench tomorrow and provide key minutes on both sides of the floor. Either way, he will be missed in Tallahassee. And if you happen to be a fan of whichever team had the foresight to take a shot on him, know that you got a good one. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, make sure you check us out at Tomahawk Nation for more great information on FSU basketball. Make sure you like and subscribe, and tell me what you think down in the comments below. Thanks.